So I've tried both the PSLE 2023 English and Science paper. Do watch both videos first if you haven't. The links will be in the description below. And now, the PSLE paper you've all been waiting for. Math. But first, the year end school holidays are coming. And yes, the next PSLE is still a year away. But, instead of your child just sitting at home, playing games and watching YouTube all day, why not kickstart his or her PSLE preparation with Teacher Charles? Once a teacher, he has trained over 100,000 students from over 200 schools. And he can boost exam performances within a short period of time. I mean results speak for themselves. Just see the numerous positive reviews from parents on his website. From primary 3 all the way to secondary 4, he offers both math and science crash courses. I'll leave a link to his website in the description below where you can find out more. His contact details will be there as well if you have any inquiries. And uh, yeah, let's get back to the video. And last but not least, math. I mean, we all know it's the hardest subject for PSLE. I absolutely hated math cause it was just cancer. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking forward to this at all, but I'll try my best. As I mentioned in my previous video, if I were to do the full paper, this video would probably be a few hours long. So instead, I'll be doing 10 MCQ questions and 5 open-ended. I'll also be using Google to randomly choose the question numbers. So yeah. Okay, so these are the numbers that I got. Question 1. Which of the following has the smallest value? Oh, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Number 4 of course. Question 4. What is the missing number in the box? Is it really that easy? Oh yeah, I can use calculator right? So 24 divided by 3 is 8. Then after that, 8 multiplied by 6. 48. Number 4. Question 5. What the heck? No, 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 wait, I can work this out. 6a minus 5a is a. Then 12 minus 10 is 2. It should be number 1. Question 8. Express 3.5 as a percentage. Wait, isn't it 3.5%? Oh no. I think it's... Uh, I think it's number 2. I don't know why, but my mind is telling me to go number 2. Question 9. What is the ratio of the number of cups to the number of bowls? Okay, it's starting to get hard now. Uh, okay, so there is 4 plates to 3 bowls. Then there's 3 out of 5 cups to plates. Huh? What, 4 divided by 5 times 3? It's... It's 2.4. There's no 2.4 there. Oh no. You know what? 2.4 to 3 is pretty much 3 to 4. So let's just put number 2. Oh wow, we got 11, 12 and 13. So pretty much this whole page. The average height of 3 of the poles is 8 meters. Find the average height of the other 2 poles. Am I dumb? Or is this actually hard? <laughs> I'm just gonna guess. 23. What is the area of the shaded part? Oh my god, I actually forgotten how to solve area already. Ah, uh, I might have to guess for this one as well. Let's go with number 4. Okay, come on please, give me a question that I know. Bob and Charlie have a total of $47. Bob and Damien have a total of $112. The ratio of Charlie's amount of money to Damien's amount of money is 1 to 6. How much does Bob have? <sighs> Oh, my brain can't handle this. Ah, oh, let's go with... 2. Samantha found a recipe on TikTok to make pancakes. She has half a kg of flour, 420 grams of butter and 110 grams of sugar. What is the greatest number of pieces of pancakes she can make? Okay, okay, come on, I can do this. Half a kg is 500 gram. So 500 divided by 150 is... About 3. 420 divided by 100 is about 4. 110 divided by 50 is about 2. So realistically, she can only make this twice. And each recipe makes 9 pieces. So it's got to be 18 then. Also, I think there's a mistake here. <laughs> what is it? 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, that's it for the MCQ. Oh no. <laughs> Question 20. Look at the figure below. Find the area of the semicircle in terms of pi. Ah, <sighs> Honestly, as I said, I forgot everything about area already. I'm just gonna go for 69, cause why not, right? 12 workers were hired to paint the same number of walls each. 3 workers did not turn up and the remaining workers had to paint 4 more walls each. What is the number of walls needed to be painted? Okay, okay, let me process this question first. 12 workers were hired, but 3 did not show up, so that's left with 9. Then the remaining workers have to paint 4 more walls each. I remember there's a way to solve this, but I just can't remember it now. 
Oh, I'm gonna go for 21. The figure below shows a square with a diagonal of 18 cm. Find the area of the square. Area again, man. There's no way I can do this. Since the question is number 25, I'm just gonna put 25. Ken's age is 2 third Justin's age now. In 8 years time, the ratio of Ken's age to Justin's age will be 10 to 13. How old is Ken now? Okay, I think I have a rough idea of how to solve this. I'm gonna multiply 2 third by 8, which makes it 16, 24. But wait, it doesn't help. <laughs> Oh, I give up. 7. Finally, the last question. A total of 100 tennis balls and baseballs were kept in the storeroom. Henry put another 12 tennis balls and took 50% of the baseballs from the storeroom. The total number of tennis balls and baseballs became 102. Find the percentage increase in the number of tennis balls. 4 marks, you know? So you know this is not gonna be easy. Where do I even start? Okay, okay, so 100 plus 12 equals 112 from 112 he took out 50% which become 102 oh so it means he only took out 10 so which means 10 times 2 equals 20 which is the total number of baseballs I think so it means there were 20 baseballs initially inside meaning there were 80 tennis balls inside and after he put 12 in there will be 92 so 80 out of 92 times 100% equals 86.9% If I get this, I'm a total genius And yeah, now it's time to see whether I pass or not I think the last question is very crucial in whether I pass or not Let's see Alright, question 1 is 4 Okay 4 and 1 Oh, you know what? So far so good Question 8 is 4 <sighs> Question 9 is 1 Wow So far so good uh, 11, 4, 12 is 2, 13 is 3. Oh my god, I got every single question on this page wrong. Ouch. 14 is 1. Oh, my calculations were correct. Question 20 is... Okay, there's no way I'm getting that, man. <laughs> question 25, uh, I already know I'm getting this wrong. Okay, let's just move on to the next one. <laughs> question 30. Oh, I got the first equation correct, but that's about it really. <laughs> uh, question 4. Oh my god. What is that? You're telling me they teach this in primary school. What the heck? I'm in shock, you know. <laughs> wow. Alright, and the final one. Please, let me get this correct, please. please. And no. Not even one metal mark. Alright, that's enough math for me for today. So I got 5 out of 20 for math, which, yes, it's not great, I know. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I've gotten stage 4 cancer from that. Well, I'm gonna go get some tuition classes from Teacher Charles after that. <laughs> Remember to check out his website for math and science crash courses. Link will be in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video. As usual, thanks for watching. And see you in the next video.